Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica, and welcome to our class. Yeah, today we're going to be ink blending. So we have got all kinds of ink blending things, mm -hmm. like we have the new paper pouncers from Picket Fence Studios. We have all kinds of brushes. Yes. Anything blendy, we got it out. We have some all to new like this bigger oh, yeah. bigger blender thing that that's now on the floor but <laughs> then we have this um we have oh like the little small blender. blenders yeah we have everything oh even smaller even smaller for like dabby type thing yeah and we have a bunch of stencils out and so we're just gonna kind of play nice. around with all these different blendy yeah. things and show some different techniques mm -hmm. with um inks so grab what you have and come come up with us yes and if you have any questions yeah throw them at us and we'll test some stuff out okay I gotta organize this a little bit grab some got some white paper here um so i guess we'll talk a little bit about just ink blending I know. I, I've really gotten into ink blending more recently. Yeah. And I think that's because I learned how to do it better. And now oh. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't like it for a long time because I was like, that always looks bad. But it turned <laughs> it out it was just me. Yeah. <laughs> making it look bad. So, yeah, we'll give you some tips how to do better ink blend. Yeah. Do better ink, ink blending. Yeah, just, just do it better and then it'll look better. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm excited to play with these more. Um, I have a little bit, but not a lot yet. These are the, let me open one up for you, the paper pouncers. So it's like a, it's like a makeup spongy kind of material. Mm -hmm. And you're literally just pouncing on your stencil, your paper, whatever you're doing. Um, I've really only so done good. that a couple times. For um, ink blending tools... I just recommend ones that feel cool. <laughs> that just feel cool. <laughs> and typically they blend better. Yeah. So like this Ulta new one, this is so soft. Yeah. yeah. So I so if it's softer, I think it's, it's going to be good. Yeah. Or like these brushes I are love really all these soft. Brushes. Yeah. These pouncers feel soft. And a lot of companies make these brushes. We have mm -hmm. Gina K, we have Catherine Pooler, we have Stamp picket fence and stamperia. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are Which the ones smaller are ones are pink fresh. These are picket fence. Picket fence. So they're all very similar. Um, I would just choose one that you like, like the feel of it or the color of it mm -hmm. or the size. That so there are a lot of different sizes too. Mm -hmm. I tend to go for the bigger sizes. Bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Um, the small ones are good if you're stenciling and you want to change colors in a smaller amount of space. Yep. But when I do ink blending, I tend to do bigger backgrounds or just cover yeah. the whole stencil. So I like the I big I think I usually go for the bigger too, depending yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I grabbed some stencils. I had my eye on these for a while. I haven't, mm. well, that was really bad opening. But the um, Vicky Booten, where to next? The stencil set, these really nice, like, globy things. Ooh, the bubbly. They're really nice. Oh, I think I can see by the glare. Circle. Like, circle-y bubbles. And then there's, like, a scripty. Mm. But it's, like, thicker, so, uh -huh. like, it's not going to be so hard to stencil. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> so, are we starting one. with? The pouncers? Yeah, let's use those. Right this... now, let, let's admire how clean they are. I know, this is a fresh set. We just opened this pack. So, uh, they will but, never look like this again. But I do think it's nice to have this whole rainbow set. Yeah. Um, Because I know a lot of the brushes, I kind of like group colors together. So mm -hmm. like, this one might be orange, pink, yellow, and yep, red. Yep. Where here... At least we can, yes. Yeah, like this is always red. This is always pink. Yeah. This is yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna start by grabbing some colors. I think will look nice. I'll work with Catherine Cooler first. Yeah. I'm getting my stencils out. I'll probably use all these. And um, for now, just working on this white paper. But um, these could be backgrounds for something. Or they don't have to be anything. It mm -hmm. can be for fun, for mm -hmm. practice. 
All right, I'm gonna blend these three colors. I'll start with purple. We have seen. I've also seen um, people will just put this on their desk, like just have a row of them like this. Oh, yeah. Just sitting out, and then they're yeah. ready to use, and they Pretty. just stack these up and put them somewhere oh, else. Oh, they don't even use the top. So oh. that'd be a way if you just want to just grab and grab and go. Grab and go with it. Yeah. Until you yeah want to put it away later. Yeah. But isn't that so cute? Isn't that be so cute just sitting there on your that desk? That is cute. And then look, like that. look how nicely it just picks up the nice. pink. Um, can you give me some, I'm going to do like pinks and orange. Just a bunch of pinks sure. and oranges. <clears throat> mm, that's too dark. Mm. Well, that's better. Okay. I'm feeling kind of pinky, so I'm going to get the pink and the orange and the yellow ready. And I'm just starting to do some pouncing. Pouncing. Um, Isn't that just a fun word? Pounce? And it, I don't know. I it just... does have, like, this bounce back. Yeah. That is pretty fun. I'm going to start with salt water taffy because it's just a very fun summer color. So now I'm just doing, like, a pouncy <laughs> pounce. And I see some, like, circle, which is kind of cool. Ooh. Okay. So you could do that, or I'm going to try to do more of like a rubby blend. Rubby blend? That into like a rubby blend. I'm pouncing the stencil. I really should have probably taped this down, but meh. Here we are. I love salt water taffy. And then you can just set it in the little lid and not like lose it, have it fall off everywhere. Mm-hmm. Let's get some scattered straw, and we're going to just kind of blend right next to that, or pounce, I mean. <laughs> oh. These are fun. These are very fun. You could just pounce all day. Have you guys used this yet, the paper pouncers? They do have them, um, there's like the neutral set too, mm -hmm. and, the and white. then just plain white set, mm -hmm. so you can kind of just do whatever with them. They don't mm -hmm. have to have any rules. But these are fun. I, I do like the rainbow set. Yeah, I like that there's like two shades of green <laughs> and two shades of blue. Mm -hmm. Keeps you organized a little bit. Yeah, more. because... Which we, we could use that. <laughs> turquoise is very different than like, right. you know, a regular type of blue, primary blue. Right. So I'm glad they have different... Okay, so I have salt water... Scattered this shot. background looks like a party. It does look like a party. I like it. I'm going to go with some dried marigold. Okay. I'm not seeing any comments yet. Are you guys seeing us Are you okay? there? Are you there? Let us know. What do you want to see us ink blend? Yeah. Make sure that the comments are working. Okay. Because there have been times where we have just started mm -hmm. started our projects, mm -hmm. and then half an hour in, people are like, oh, we can't hear you, or <laughs> we can't see you, or I'm like, oh no, you should have done it sooner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a bummer. <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. I, like some, I think I need more pink in here. Pop that in there. Isn't that just so fun? Yeah. I like these. They're cute. And I'm going to add more of this salt water taffy. Oh, there we go. Jessica's here. Skeptical about the pouncers. Hmm. So I'm watching. Yeah. Uh, do you use. What are you skeptical about? Yeah. Do you use um, the blending brushes mostly? Yeah. What do you use? Or. Right now? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's not what you use. I think them. they're it makes it like a I don't know. It's like a very even blend. Like mm -hmm. I'm not even blending, I'm just tapping down. See where how I'm doing it, I'm really getting that circle outline. Yeah. So let's see. Like you can see all my circles. Isn't that fun? I like that. 
So, yeah, I could definitely see that, like, on a birthday, something like a yeah, card or I a layout. Little, or... You could just, like, add some black outline mm -hmm. for balloons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, okay, I want to look at but, that. And then how yours is, you don't have any of like the circle. No, it like blends it, it perfectly. It. I did not like swipe it or swoosh it or blend it. I just, I literally just pounced it. I all wonder that. if there's nice. some difference because I use the Catherine Pooler ink where you use this distress. Oh. If that has anything to do with it. Depending on the inks. So, yeah, so <clears throat> Catherine Poolers are more juicier inks. Mm hmm. So, yeah, that could depend on that, too. And then, I don't know. Let me try to... Just asked if she can show how it blends from the edge. Blends um, from the edge. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, I'll use this Uncharted Mariner. Mariner. <laughs> um, blend, like, you mean, like, coming in from the edge? Like she uses blending brushes, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this stencil now. Or are you from, doing an edge? I can like, come in from the edge, yeah. Well, so yeah, it does the like the very edge if you want to just do the edge, um, and then I'll blend it in to the inside edge a little bit. Oh, that's fun. Um, so I'm gonna do some kitsch flamingo with another stencil up top here. And, um, I don't even, like, even if I, you know, with the other blenders, you usually start from the edge and kind of come in so it's smoother. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to do that. You just start? No, like, yeah. I can just start right in the middle and it's fine. If you kind of keep the same pressure, it looks very even. So I almost think this is easier than mm. the other brushes. So then, so that's just pouncing. Now, what if I just kind of, like smoosh it or blend it let's see what that see, I, I do love using the blending brushes so and i've been very uh, i use the blending yeah. brushes so, so now this, this is, is this is a little bit harder to like blendy blend like mm -hmm. you can still blend it mm -hmm. like kind of use some circular motions to if you want it maybe kind of darker I'm trying to go for, like, that really perfect gradient. Yeah. Because I know I can get that with the brushes. Okay. So I'm just seeing if I, I can get I think this that. might even be easier than you the think? brushes. I don't know. I'll have to try a gradient. But, like, look. I, um, look at that. That looks, I'm kind of, like, really impressed myself here. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, look at this over here. I did not start on the edge and, like, come in or anything like that. I just started right here in the middle, started pouncing. And as long as you have, like, kind of an even um, weight of a pounce, if that makes sense, you're going to look very even. And then over here, I kind of just a little bit lighter. And then over here, I was, I was like, kind of rubbing it in more. Um, so that can give kind of a different look. But I like this look of it. Yeah, let me try, like, um, like a more faded mm -hmm. look. Let's see how that works. I'm running out of room here. We'll flip that over. Also, I think this is this is turning out pretty well. Ooh, that's a nice gradient. That. Yeah, that's nice. And you're just kind of rubbing it in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that was more. I started pouncy over here. Okay. Uh, to get off most of my ink, and then I did more of a swirl to work that ink over. Okay, I like it. Um, I'm gonna use some green. So that was using the oxide. I oh, okay. I want to try doing that same thing with Catherine Pooler. Okay. Because I want to. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just, do. Yeah. I'm gonna do a gradient. So like, it start out darker and go lighter, or the other way around. We'll see. I'll try to wipe um, off some of this. Yes. Looks like you can use the pouncers to add maximum ink. It could be tough to do that with brushes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially if you're like doing a pretty big background, like I feel like I'm brushing for a while. Though I do love yeah, my brushes. I, but... I mean, doing this took a little bit. Yeah. That is a good point though, just that you can really get that full ink color. Yeah. Um, kind of like using the brushes though, I just feel like the longer you spend on it, the better it looks. Yeah. So yeah, the more you blend it. I probably should have done lighter to darker. Yeah. 
here we are. Now I'm going dark to light. Maybe, hmm. I'll, maybe I'll just kind of meet in the middle. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll just kind of actually take this. I'll go lighter down here. Yeah, I do think this might be faster to just get some ink down here. And I'm definitely using too much ink for my lighter part, but whatever. Maybe we'll just do a gradient both sides coming in. That's that's what we're doing. Okay, so this one's the Catherine Pooler. And I did still get a pretty good gradient there. So, yeah, I think you could use either types of ink. Yeah. Let's see here. Blue. And... Well, since I'm doing all the gradients and such, I'm going to switch to using a brush. And so it can be like a direct comparison. I'll go with some purple and this is the bigger one this is uh also picket fence mm -hmm. i, I like am just size. picking it because it's big mm -hmm. uh, and it's kind of like when you're painting you want a paintbrush that is like the size of what you're painting mm -hmm. so like if i was painting this whole page i don't want just the tiniest little paintbrush so, it would take it, yeah, it'd take forever, and then I'd get frustrated with it, and nobody's having a good time. <laughs> so, it's same thing with this. If I want to cover this whole page, I want a bigger brush. Mm -hmm. It's really relaxing to do this. Yeah. I don't know. I might have find a new favorite. Ooh! Because I'm a brush user. I, I yeah. do like the brushes. Because I feel like they're just so soft and blendy. But this is like almost foolproof. Like you're, mm. it's maybe better for like beginners or just people like me. <laughs> Sometimes just blending doesn't work out. Yeah. Darker. Okay. There's that. I think. Let's see. I don't know. It could just be because I'm using a big brush. Yeah. Ooh. I'll try it with a smaller brush. All right. So here's kind of like more of a gradient look. Um, it looks really nice and smooth, if I do say so myself. <gasps> Like, that would take me forever with a brush. Mm. And look at that. I have a nice background. I like that. I really like the stencil, too. That's fun. Um, this corner is a little beat up, it. so if it doesn't look good, <laughs> it's kind of the um, the corner. Um, I wanted to try a little bit of Catherine. I'll just do whatever you have open here, that pixie dust. Because I want to get a feel for this. Yeah. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but... <laughs> but toot toot! toot. <laughs> Looking good here. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm not doing my best blending today. I'm getting some brush strokes here and there. Mm, but good. yeah, Catherine blends really nice with mm -hmm. me too. Mm -hmm. Alright. I want to go back. To, let's do a little brush for a while. Yeah. Go I want to my favorites. I want I don't know. Um where's the pink one? <laughs> this is pink ish. This is a Gina K. I really like the feel of, of these. Um, they're Those all are similar. Catherine Pooler. Oh, that one, that this one's is Gina, Gina K. Sorry. This is Gina K. This they're, is Catherine Pooler. They're yeah, similar. They're, uh, yeah, I feel like the brushes, I don't want to say just like they're all the same, but yeah, they, they, they have some differences of shape. Yeah, and, like, and size, but really I feel like they're pretty similar. Mm-hmm. 
Let's do... Now I just want to go for a full blended background. Usually, Ooh. usually when I'm blending, I want to start very light. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then as I go um, and take off some of that pigment, then I can start to push harder. And that's when I think the ink blending starts to look nicer. Mm -hmm. Once you get that light and fluffy. A lot of times also I'll, so I'll load up my brush and then I'll just do, do a little section right next to my paper to get off any, like, residue. Yeah, residue. or like any extra of the ink that might okay. make streaks or brush strokes. Look at that. That's a fun stencil because it's like, mm -hmm. it's like script, but like. But you can't like, read it. What's the word I want? Thick. Thick and like more blurry, like. Like it's meant to be like that. Isn't that fun? Um, I do think the Cap and Pooler inks are a little bit easier to blend. I think. Oh, or do like, you? Yeah. I was just thinking the opposite. Really? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> because I just look at that. I did that in like two seconds. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just the stencil. So, but if I go in, let's see. Let me use this one again. We could start a. Um, competition here. Ink pad battle. <laughs> what is uh, your guys' favorite ink type? Yeah. What brand do you always go to? Okay, now, now maybe I'm not. That's, yeah, I think it's just. Fine too. Yeah, I think it's just when you go over a stencil and you can just go kind of quickly through yeah. it. But I do have to, I, see, I feel like I have to work a little bit harder mm. to get it even looking. That's funny. But, yeah, with the pouncer, you don't have to work as hard, mm. I feel like. Like, it's just kind of pounce, pounce, here, darker, here, lighter, but, like, it's try blendier. Pounce, pounce. Okay. Let's look at my nice stenciled. Um, Brandy is a Tim Holtz fan. Love the oxides, yes. When I'm reaching for Tim's inks, I usually am reaching for the oxides. Yeah. Um, just because they, they, I don't know, they're kind of blendier. I really like that. Mm, that's a that blendy background. Blendy. I want to make a blendy background with, like, some stenciling on top, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, I was going to do this and then squirt it with some water. Ooh. Why are all these corners all bad? <laughs> See, you if you ever wonder what happens with the broken products oh, from our warehouse. Yeah, we use them. We get them. If, if, some, yeah, if something gets shipped to us all, like, squished and broken, like, yeah, we can't sell that. But, um, so Jess and I use a lot of it. We're like, hey, we can use that. We'll yeah, tear it so off. that's why all of our corners on these papers <laughs> are all just... That's all right. We'll just kind of cut we, that up later. We do some product control for yeah. you guys. <laughs> yes. That is our job. <laughs> okay. Um, what colors do I want to do? I don't know. Kind of like the blue and green you got going on over there. Mm, blue and green and a little purple pink. Mm. What colors did you use? Um, I've been grabbing quite a few actually. Mix and a match. I do matching. like mint. And some of this is Catherine Fuller, some of it is oxides. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I kind I I really do like the brush. I think yeah. I would always still would just still go, the brush. go for the brush. This okay. big brush. Big brush. Um, do we have another big brush? On this it. one's the biggest one, but that one's second biggest. Is there anything on this? No. I think this is the clean oh, brush. A clean brush. Oh. <gasps> wow. Okay, you guys, this does not happen very often. So here's my blended background. Oh, uh, I like that. Um, and then I'm going to just give it a little mist. See what happens. Are you just gonna like kind of let it dry like that, or like? Um, drip I'll it, let or? it. I'll let it sit for a minute. So I sprayed. So that's got some smaller, and then I'm gonna tap some on here too to get some bigger splotches because mm -hmm. all of the ink that i use the tim holtz and the Catherine pooler is all water-based 
and water reactive. Yep. So I'll get a okay. cool effect here. Nice. Um, Jessica says he hasn't tried very many. Like, like Tim Holtz for Spine. Okay. Yes, you should try Catherine Pooler. Oh, I really, really like Catherine Pooler. It's um, it's a different. Like it's like spongier. Mm -hmm. And Does that makes wet. It, it's like it's a juicier ink. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like it. I yeah. Yeah. I'd say my go tos are the oxides. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, just like when you're doing mixed media things, I think they're perfect. And I like the cool things that they do when they react with water. Yeah. Um, but anytime I, I want to stamp, I would rather stamp with Catherine Pooler just because they're so juicy. Mm. And I always feel like I'm, I have problems stamping. With other ones? Yeah. yeah. Like, they're not juicy enough. But also now I use a stamp platform thing, like the Sizzix one more. Mm -hmm. So that helps with my bad stamping. <laughs> okay, but here it is when it's still got some wet drips here and there. So with a big brush, I mean, I can cover this pretty quickly. Yeah. But look at, I'm already getting some spots that are like, I got to mm -hmm. go back and blend that out. Okay. And this is a darker color. You can really... <laughs> So here it is with all of the splatters. Ooh, um, just a fun way to make a background. Very nice. Um, now I'm gonna go in with the blue pouncer that's not in there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Or should I wait? Should I use the darker blue with this one? Either way. Is that what you used? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and this is also a new one oh, we yeah. just grabbed. Oh yeah, we used that one too. Um, so this. This one's all to new, and I think it'll be similar to a brush because it has the like the really fine bristles, but it's so soft, so soft. Yeah, it's softer than the regular. Now see though, brushes. this I think is harder to get smoother on a big mm -hmm. paper like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I would only use these for with stencils. stencils. Mm -hmm. I think these work really, mm. really good with stencils, but like a big, just open and that's, space like that, that's how I was. Bit harder. That's how I was using it, and I was, and then you're over there like, oh, I love it, I love it. And well, like, use it with a stencil. Yeah, and I, I do need to try it with stencil. Like it is nice. It feels nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this. Yeah. So if you're doing like just a big inked background, I would go with a big brush. Now I need to try that. Oh too. yeah. <laughs> Oh, I um, like this one. How would you store those? Which ones, Jessica? Oh, this <laughs> one. This this is my new we lid to that. Don't hog it. That Look at that. Nice. It's like a big a big one. And it's it like it big... holds a lot of pigment. Yeah. I'll grab some more of it. <laughs> so do you find any like spots where it's like hard to blend no it just it looks it very does. blendy yeah i nice. i do really i'm really liking this Ooh. okay i want to 10 out of 10 oh, all the new look at that i'll use the same color okay Ooh. It is, that's a nice feel. And okay. that was quick. How I just like... No. Yeah, I do feel like you need to start out here. Mm -hmm. On the edge and come in. Well, yeah. yeah. Wow, Whoa. it carries a lot of ink. Look at that. I'm just going heavy with it. Yeah. But yeah, you could cover something quick with this. Uh-huh. That feels nice. Um, you said, how would you store the Alta New brushes? The Alta New one, it comes in little... this, yeah, this little tray thing. Isn't that cute? So it protects your bristles, and then you just sit it there. Yeah. 
Okay, so look at close up at this. This is the Altenew big brush, which I didn't take much time with it yet, but um, really nice blending. This is the what? The picket fence. Picket fence, large brush. This is paper pouncer. Now you can see all those little circles. Now that's fine if that's the look you're going for, but if you want smooth, I would stick with the brushes. For me personally. For larger areas. For larger areas. Yeah. But for a stencil, I think I would just do paper pouncers because that is a very even, a very even blend. Um, some other things we haven't used yet, though, are... Oh, there's a lot of other brushes. We have, like, smaller brushes. Um, pink fresh. Aren't these cute? These are just so pretty with the gold, yeah. the white. Oh yeah, those I love it. Those I really like to use for layered stencils, like yeah. where they have smaller details. Yeah. Um, where you don't need to ink up an entire brush. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that with this um scripty kind of stencil. Let me just sneeze. Thanks me, sorry. And um this is nice for, yeah, these little... I love this one. This feels nice and smooth. The rest of the class, I'm just... <laughs> you gonna hog that for the whole time. Just this. Well, I was going to create a whole background with this. Yeah. And then I wanted to try um, doing, like, a reverse stencil. Oh, what's... So, like, get it wet and have the stencil and just see how okay. see how that works i like this okay there's that. that whoa <laughs> we're getting crazy here with our inks i was getting excited with this one um oh here's a uh, the distress blender with distress. the the domed top those are a little bit newer they came out i don't know this last year or so mm -hmm. so it's not the flats the dome so those are fun to use too so I'm going to, let's see, I guess I'll just, I could just use this one. I'm going to spray this one to get it, like, wash off some of the ink, and then also get it a little wet. Okay. I'm going to see how this dome does with stencil or with big open space. Just do a little comparison. So, I wonder if you can tap it. Yeah, kind of. Not really. It really doesn't feel like doesn't, the pouncer. It doesn't like get ink on there as much if you tap. You have to like really smooth that in. And now I'm just going to brush over my stencil. But yeah, these are, oh, that's nice. That's a nice first stencil. So I'm going to get it wet again, clean it off a little bit. My leg is feeling wet. Oh! <laughs> I'm just, I got a trash can down here, so I'm just spraying it into the trash can. Okay, so here is the domed, oh, this is called blender. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Applicator? I don't know. Um, oh, I think applicator. Very nice with a stencil. You can't just tap it. it <laughs> I tried. You have to, like, just... circularly blend it. Thinking of me spraying your leg. <laughs> and then it. here's just like an open space actually this does work pretty good um i think i like blending that what compared to like the just the flat. the flat yeah those are harder for me those are good for acrylic paint oh I found. yeah yeah better than yeah um I like that where with ink i like the brushes or you know. yeah i was gonna do like a full background but i kind of got distracted and what happened to El Tanu? I are might, you still using I it? Might be still hogging it. <laughs> well, okay. see how it is. All right, I have some orange. So down here. here's my reverse stenciling. Oh, fun. So some places I think I got a little too wet, but overall I think it's cool, cool look to try out. Okay, I get it cleaned off. I do really like this one though. Mm -hmm. And they have um smaller ones too. Mm -hmm. There's like a pack of four. 
mm -hmm. that are smaller. I know those are in stock. This big one is out of stock right now, but we'll just have to order more of those because uh, I think we found a new favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is fun. Like, I'm blending this orange up into the blue for just some funness. Ooh. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll use this. Do you guys have any questions? Are there any um, brushes you want us to use or show or compare? I wanted to use some of these smaller pink fresh ones mm -hmm. on this and show how you can switch up colors a little quicker than with oh, I think I have a small regular. There's a little okay. pinkish one. Oops, I'll do a pink. Um, let's see. Oh, Sizzix also has these blending tools too. So they are going to be, they're very similar to um, this. This is just a flat one though. Mm -hmm. the dome. So that's going to be just a tiny bit different. Uh, what else do we have? We got some more Gina K. I just grabbed a blue one, so I'm going to put some more blue on here. <laughs> and I'm going to kind of blend this big old blob right there. And I'm not doing this super perfectly and keeping in the lines a lot with these, but just kind of doing some here and there. Uh, hi, Lori. Glad you joined. We are just playing with inks and different blending tools. Um, we're kind of just testing out different things. I have found that the paper pouncers work really great with stencils, but then with just like an open background, they're a little bit trickier to blend. Mm -hmm. You're going to get more of a spotty look, but which is fine if you want that look. Yeah, like this is the look. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, we really are liking this El Chenu brush. It's a large one. They have smaller ones too, but um, this is really fun. And we did some, some water fun. techniques. So adding water into the um our blended backgrounds. I'll grab this orange. I like that purple. No, that? I'm using some littles to switch up your colors as you go along. Ooh. So you're making like a little pattern? Yeah. It's fun. Fun. I like that. Okay. I need to start over with the idea that I was originally <laughs> thinking. I just get so distracted. Mm -hmm. oh, I want to try that. I want to mm -hmm. try that. Um, I was going to do like a colored, full colored background and then add in some like stencils. Mm. So with a full colored background, I should probably use this big brush. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hog it for a while. Okay. I'm using the littles for now. Um, so I guess I can share the big one. Let's see. I really like the shaded lilac with the uncharted. Let's start with that. That is a good combo. I like Maybe anything some... with the uncharted. I know, really anything. I think that's gonna that. be like my favorite Tim Holtz color yeah. of all time. Yeah. I really like it. Me too. Let's see. So, yeah. I've got just some. So you can switch up your Ooh, color. I like that. Using That'd be the, so cute the little for a card. Yeah. Actually, my, I might just continue yeah. it a little bit more to go down so I can make it. See, I, when I had the stencil over it, I was like, eh, I don't know about these colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I take it out, then I'm like, oh, that's a, that would be a super cute birthday card. Yeah. Really so, so you just gotta keep with it. Yeah, just try it out. Even if you think like, oh, this may not work. Mm -hmm. Try it out and see. If it doesn't work, then 
Oh, oh well, at least then you know. Yep. How else are you gonna know? Yep. Got to try it. That is our motto here. Yes. Let's just try. Just do it. See what happens. The worst is you grab a new piece of paper. Yep, yep. The worst is if that was the last piece of paper, but <laughs> there's always, there's more, always paper. more paper. Yep. I don't just got to remember all of the colors that I was using. Hmm. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. We need to get more of these brushes out, so... Mm -hmm. Use more colors. Are you getting warm from like blending? I, I was, but now I'm just doing these little baby like yeah. white wrist movements. So it's like a cool down. Okay. Well, from I'm, the... I can't from this. <laughs> blend. Hmm. My paper just like just keeps moving on me. Yeah. That's what I was thinking with this too. I was like, I should have just Put a little washi on it. Mm-hmm. That might be too dark for me. Okay, is that enough? That might be good enough for a card. I'm flipping it over. Here we go. Eee. This way, it kind of looks like tulips. I think it's supposed to be, um, like a knitted yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. But doing a more sparse. Yeah. I could see, like, like cool. yeah, like tulips like or something. Really cute. Cute. All right. What else should we try here? I'm going lighter. This started getting too dark too quick. Mm. So flipped over. We're going lighter. Because I don't. I want like a nice light background and yeah. then stencil on top of that. Ooh, Roberta asked, which blending tool do we like the best? Oh, out of all these that we, we like, like the best. Um, well, well, I one, they, just I ones like that I, different reasons. yeah, just ones that I like. Actually, I want to try the pouncer using, um, a stencil because I haven't tried that yet. And you said that they were it's good, magical. good for the stencil. Mm -hmm. See, I think I like the pouncers best for stenciling, especially if you're doing like a large stencil. Um, it just is, makes it very easy to evenly get it all on there. Um, and then I don't know, it might be a tie between the Alta New large brush and another large brush like these. Yeah. Can you use the pouncers with the mousse or stencil butter? Yeah, um, have you not can't. Tried it, you can't. Yeah. You just um, clean it off after. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. just wash it right away. Yep. Yep. You, you can. I've used them. Um, well, not the pouncers. I've used um, some other things that are pretty similar with paints, oh, like yeah. acrylic paints and all that. So it's just you get a thinner uh, coat of it. Okay. Uh, I can go grab yeah, some sure. stuff and and show. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Let's pounce on some Let me, texture. I'm going to finish this pounce. <laughs> finish this pounce. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to uh, get into this blue a little bit. Oh, I've got this going. I do like this for stencils. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. And I'll go grab, let's see, what did you say? Mousse? I'll do grab a stencil, stencil butter. butter. Yeah. Maybe just grab a couple of different things. Yeah. I'll grab a cup of paint. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just kind of slowly building this up. 
some blues and greens. This looks like um like a nice watercolor look to it. Then I need to decide um, what color I'm going to put on top. And I also had to grab, because like you said, we need to clean it. Oh, if, hmm? I think our camera froze. Oh, it did. That's cute. I wonder if I hit it. Perhaps. Did you step on something? Is it better? Nope, still frozen on me. Should I turn it off and turn it back on? Maybe. We did okay. great. Ah. Let me get IT in here. <laughs> okay. Well, but, okay, well, there's that. I'm going to grab a new paper and... Do some texture paste. Oh, okay. Wait, is it back? Okay, it's back. Whoa, we're really dark. Okay. Our faces were frozen, but you can okay. still... Okay. Uh, let's see. Roberta's use a regular makeup blending eggs and pounce them. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you think the pounces will absorb too much of the butters? Yeah. Okay, let's I'll try it. Out. Okay. And then I also have a little bath next to me so I can clean them up right away. Because, yeah, if you leave it on there too long, like like any acrylic paint, it'll, it'll ruin it. So, yeah, I'll just do it plain first, and then maybe I'll do it with a stencil. Hmm. So you're, you're gonna have those like circly marks though, I feel like. I guess I'm gonna could do some, could swirl some or... swirlies. Yeah. Still getting a little circle. Mm -hmm. But I think also though, as I wear off some of the paint, yeah, it'll get better. And then I still have some paint around the edge so there. Let's see. Let's see. Well, and also, um, like how we did with these, when you're doing just a whole background, mm -hmm. we found that this wasn't our favorite way to use yeah. um, them anyways. Yeah. So I'll use try them to, over a stencil, stencil too. Stencil, yeah. uh, do you soak the whole pouncer when cleaning? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll grab it. I guess water would. I just. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And then I just suds it a bit. Um, typically, uh, I don't know how they have them held up in here, but typically there's like um, glue in here that you don't necessarily want to get wet. So I would recommend, I know that isn't what I just did, but I would recommend just cleaning off the bottom yeah, part, like doing not... something more like this and then sudsing it like that until it's clean it, rather than dumping the whole thing. Yeah. There. That's how I would clean it. And then actually with it just being wet, keeping it in the look how big it grew it's, oh my goodness, it's holding up like, the entire thing <laughs> that is so funny and now that's... it perfectly fits it's <laughs> funny i was not expecting that <laughs> i mean i guess like a makeup sponge when yeah you get wet, it grows right so. yeah so it makes sense i got that some splashes funny. on here but i was just did not think that that would happen <laughs> No. Um, here's more of like a mousse. This is nouveau. Yeah. Oh, you can do it with a stencil. Yeah. 
I want to see this thing. So Ellie is so loud over there. Sorry. <laughs> She's doing something with hooks. Ellie! <laughs> she can't even hear me over the phone. I can't hear over the phone. Okay. Um, I guess I might as well use the same one. It's kind of wet now, but... Um, I'm going to grab some of it. And I would put it on a palette. I'm not really seeing a palette, so I'll just put it there. And grab some with my pouncer. So, yeah, this is more like a mousse. This is like Nouveau mousse. And it's glittery. Mm. So, typically I would apply this with a um, palette knife. But sometimes a palette knife might be like too thick or too much. Mm -hmm. So actually I do think this is a really good option for um, a bit more of a like more delicate look or a little more subtle. Mm -hmm. I know it's clear. It's clear glitter. Mm -hmm. I don't know much you can see. Oh yeah. I think I you can see it. Um... Uh... Natalie says she doesn't clean hers often, unless you're very pre precise. Wipe them on a stamp chamois when done. Right, yep. So they won't transfer the ink. Mm hmm So, again, with the mousse, the glittery mousse, I'm just going to uh, clean that off quickly before it dries. And yeah, the once you start using them with your inks, they will stain. And it's kind of interesting. So this we've just used with light green, and the pounce part looks blue. Why is it blue? Just whatever hmm. of the ink left as a stain. Okay, what else? Oh, acrylic paint. Where is... Didn't we have a lighter orange over here? This is where I am. And it's always good to test... If you, if you don't have swatches around you, um, just kind of test on the paper next to you before you go right on your paper. And I think the acrylic paint will re react very similarly to the texture paste because the texture paste is pretty much like thick acrylic paint. So this is some Dina Wakely paint. And actually, this is this is blending pretty nicely. Yeah. Ooh. That does blend nicely more than the um, mm -hmm. what was that stencil butter? The stencil butter, okay. yeah. Just me because it's like a thinner. Yeah. Consistency. See. So that's a good option. I'll do a little bit over a stencil. There we go. Yeah, I like this a lot with acrylic paint. I think, yeah, that's a that's a good option for hmm. acrylic paint. You haven't have thought of that. Just wash it. Just yeah, wash it right away. I want that paint to dry on there. Um, gotta clean the glitter though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't take a lot to wash these. I'm just squishing them. Just squishing them. Yeah. Squishing them in the water. Okay. What else can I try here? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Do we have a stamp platform here? Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice. What if I can reach it? Oh, that. Side. Thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> Emily was going to do a video of how to clean this, uh -oh. but I guess she didn't get to the video yeah. part. She <laughs> just got to the dirty part. Uh -oh. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show how you ink blend on a stamp. Ooh. So, 
I... This one's a bigger-ish one. I'll just use both of them. From Tim Holtz. I'm gonna add some water here. So here we go. And... Actually, I don't have a lot of space, so I'm just going to do it like this. And... Let's see. I'll just pick... Some colors. Oh, maybe I'll just keep it all reds and oranges. Oh, like that. So, this is a cool way to add uh, to multiple colors when you're stamping. Some stamps don't need the ink blend part. Other ones do more. I don't think this one would necessarily need it, but I'll just show you because some of them do need it. So I just applied the ink, and then, like, in between the colors, if you just, like, dab it a little bit, it'll blend them. Notice, when you do spray water and try to blend over it, it don't work. Oh. And that's kind of the same with, um, once you start... Like, you get your brush wet, mm -hmm. it leaves streaks. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, you would think, oh, this is water-based. If mm -hmm. I get it a little bit wet, it'll be even easier. No. Nope. But no. Don't get them wet. Yeah. Keep these dry. Uh, thanks, Natalie. It gives it more texture, though, so hey. Kind of doing some yellow, orange, pink something down here. I really don't know. I'm just kind of right. making this up as I go. From there I got my ink on here. I blended a little bit. Because I'm, I'm not going super fast with this, I'm going to grab my spray and just spritz it to reactivate that ink a little bit. I'm going to pounce a little on here, too, just to get another texture. Because it's going to leave a little bit of those circle marks. But I want it this time. Wait. Wait. Keep shaking the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Just another one for good measure here. Okay. And there we go. Oh, I got a drip, but overall, mm. there's, it's like a a rainbow look. Which ones did you use? You... These are Tim Holtz stamps. Okay. Some and what of his ink? new Tim Holtz stamps and oxides. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, I used some. These were actually all Catherine Cooler. Okay. And those, those were all oxides. oxides. Mm. They both look nice. Yeah. So I got one stray drip here. But other than that, that turned out pretty nice. Okay. Um, I am in a stencil over there, so I don't know what color. You could even do like white. Ooh. That would be pretty. Do we have white ink though? Oh, we have some pumice stone. Yeah. Or lost shadow. Up? Would that show up? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Do we have any white ink? I don't think so. At least hmm. not out. Not out here. Um, I think we have some honeybee white ink. Could grab. Oh. It's like that uh water activated. Yeah. Let's use that. Grab it. It's just so fun to just sit here and play. Yeah. And have like no plan, just to see what what comes out. Do you guys ever just do that? Just kind of sit and play. Highly recommend. It. Highly recommend. It. By putting the moose, my oh mouse pad under your platform, so you don't have to push so hard. Oh. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I've seen, um, or like 
I know Pink Fresh has like one of those. I don't know what they're called. Uh huh. It's like a, a thing. Push her down or thing. Yeah, yeah a thing. <laughs> we know the names of products. We. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Maybe I want more green down here. I don't know. Like I said, you guys, I'm making this up. I'm not finding that white. Oh. In the stamping drawer? Yeah. Hmm. I used it on something. But... Like recently. Not recently. <laughs> Want no, no. copper color? Copper? Or bronze? Maybe. That could work. I wonder if it's over here somewhere. It's possible. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, metallic bronze. That could be pretty. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't I think know maybe I should start layering up now with something. Let's see. What what else? What else could we do here? I really like these. Yeah. I'm using them a lot. Can you use one stencil too much? No. Yeah. That's that's the point of stencils. Yeah. You just keep reusing it. Over and over yeah. And over. I'll throw a layered stencil. Oh yeah. I haven't used this yet either. Oh, yeah. What is this one? Stamperia? Stamperia. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just like a very simple, spongy. What would you, would you use this with ink? I or, you or could. Or like I would probably, stuff? I would use it more with acrylic paint. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that would be kind of hard to do with mm -hmm. ink. Um, okay. So what should I use? Well, I'll use a paper pumpkin, but I don't know what color. For that, yeah, I could do orange. Orange. Get this, um, yellow a little gross. I just give it a few oh. squirts. So let's take a look at. This. If you do want to clean them, even if you're just using inks, I would clean them the same way how I was doing it with the, uh, acrylic. Well, first you can just yeah, like wipe it off on a towel. Oh yeah. And that's probably good enough. Or if you're feeling this might be too dark. Extra. Oh, no. Um, like you want it cleaned extra, you can just run it under some water and do it that way. Okay, so here's I some layers. Yeah, I'm gonna try some other things. Mm. I'm running out of clean brushes to use. I know. Oh. Look at the what chaos. Can I use? <laughs> yeah, that is our table. Oh. It is a lot of yeah chaos. Do we have a cleanish brush for a gray? <laughs> well, these I think I've all rinsed off, okay. so well, it's not too bad. Try that. Um, because I do like this metallic bronze, but then I was testing it out. It might just look kind of too dark. Ooh, um, let's see. What would I use? I might actually want to use a brush. I'm going to try to use. Actually, I think I'm going to do a gradient on each layer. Or, let me try, maybe Lost Shadow would be kind of mm. cool looking. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to show up enough. 
We need more yellow ink pads. Oh, that would be nice. You think that's gonna show up enough? Yeah, I thought it will. Okay. Let's try that. Lost shadow. On here. With. Well, I guess I'll just use this brush since I already started. <laughs> um i think i'll kind of make my i like to use my stencils like off the page too i don't ever feel like you have to always line it up you can mm -hmm. you totally can it makes it easy actually to kind of line it up a corner but for something a little different make it like go across somewhere mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um well this stencil has pink and orange on it so let's see how that looks with <laughs> gray I might get it picked up a little bit. With this layered stencil, uh, I figured it'd be easiest to line it up by just putting the corner in the corner of the paper. Yeah. And that that is pretty easy for lining it up. So that's good. That's how I'd recommend doing it. Maybe I should have pounced this one. Shabby shutters. Because this is going to like blend into my previous layers. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna see how this looks. I don't know. Just keep her going. Let's keep you going. If I wanted on this layered stencil to have, eat like, cause now I'm doing leaves, I could do use those smaller ones and have each leaf be a different color. Ooh. Or like a different shade of green. Yeah, that'd be pretty. I should have taped the stencil down, but you know. Instead I'm doing more of a gradient with it, but just as just you have options. That's why I like layered stencils. Yeah. There's so many options. Okay. You can kind of see it. Not like the white that I wanted, but you know. Can you see that? <laughs> A little bit. Um, maybe it just needs like some paint. Yeah. Get white paint out. <laughs> no. I have purple and turquoise. Hmm. That good? Nope. Nope. We usually keep white on the table. No, no we're I don't, not. I don't think we do. Either. You want me to grab it? Um, yeah, something, something whitish. Cause my this is looking too, like muddy. I need to brighten it up a little. Um. You like to see the lost shadow. Debating on that versus hickory smoke. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me, I can show you that real quick. Where's hickory smoke? Here it is. So, lost shadow is like a really nice, just like plain Neutral. gray. Like it doesn't have any undertones of anything, which is really nice. Um, we have more white paper. Yeah. So, let me show you the lost shadow. Oop. And now my brush is going to that little clean off. Or do we have a clean? I should probably start with a clean brush. Um, we're getting into slim pickings for, into for clean brushes. Let's see. Do this. Yeah, so a lot of these brushes, I'm going to just kind of clean off yeah. the majority of the ink. Wipe it off. And as long as you're working with a brush like that's you used in the same color family, yeah, I feel like it's okay. Did that door just move on its own? 
<laughs> Not spooky. <laughs> okay, so here is the Lost Shadow. But now, remember, my brush is not all the way clean here. There's a little bit of... A little, little bit of in there. residue of something on here. Okay. And then... Hickory Smoke. Is that what you said, right? Hickory Smoke. Alright. I'll just kind of wipe that off. Hickory Smoke is darker. On this layer, actually, I'm going to switch into using some of these littles and add some darker colors here and there. Like there's some little purple hearts. Or it's just hearts. They're not purple yet, but little okay. hearts. So here's Hickory Smoke. It's a darker gray. And I would say it has a tiny bit of a blue undertone. Here is Lost Shadow. Now this had a tiny bit of um, a little bit of orange in it from my previous color. So it looks a little bit warmer. But it's a lot lighter gray. And it's very, it's just plain neutral, no undertones. Just don't look too closely at this because my brush was not clean. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, hope that helps. I like them both. Um, mm -hmm. It's nice to have a variety of grays for different things. What was I doing? Um, oh yeah, white. I need to get some white on this page. Brighten it up a little bit here. And there's so that layer. I'm going with, what did you bring me? Just, just a, okay, just some snow. Just white. No titanium white paint. All right. And we are going, to, I don't have a clean brush. <laughs> you can see what this is. Here's a brush I found. We're gonna go with that. And ooh, this one I could get super fussy with. Yeah. And that could be cool because um this top stencil like using these littles. Mm. And also there are these littles too. These are Ranger oh yeah detailed blenders. Um or I could just go with Yellow. So with paint, you have to be kind of careful of getting it under the stencil. You can kind of dab it. And pounce it. Probably should have pounced this on. Oh, yeah. Did you try it with acrylic paint? Right? Yeah. It pounced really good. Well, why didn't I do that? Yeah. That yeah. that would have looked a lot better pounced. Yeah, it would have looked a lot better pounced. Do we have like a clean... Well, just... Clean pouncer. <laughs> um, there, I don't think we use the red. Oh, we use that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really love that. I want to just cover that up with something else. Um. Question. Oh, Lori, you saw the, oh the winner of the June oh, blog cool. pop. Nope. Nope. You're not too late. Just oh. email me. Email Jessica. Yep. Jessica at acheryontop.com. Yep. And congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun blog. Yeah. I, I love the blog hops. Mm -hmm. So much. They're always inspiration. Cool. And I just love how we usually, we set a theme and then everyone takes that theme and makes their own whatever. Mm -hmm. Layout, card, planner, it means anything. And it's just so fun to see how everyone... Interpret that theme. Mm -hmm. So this month was flowers. Which I love as a theme. Yeah. I use a lot of flowers. Me too. So. Oh, look at that pounce. Look, that looks very nice. Yeah. And I still think, I think you could even do it better, like, if because you already had some, like, stuff under your stencil. Yeah. You know, so I think if you were using a clean stencil, probably it would be, you could even do... A nicer pounce. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know. I'm just kind of, what do I want to do over here? I want to cover that up. <laughs> <laughs> I need a palette knife. Oh, there's one. You guys should see her. 
table. I mean, you can see the chaos right here, right? Right? Yeah. So just imagine our entire table. We'll have to take a picture after and show you guys what this looks like. There's my layered stencil Ooh. all put together. I've got a mix of using the pouncers. I used a lot of the brushes. I used the little brushes. Yeah. Love it already. And there we go. Anything else you yeah, want to see? Yeah, any questions? Anything else you would like to see? Brushes, inks. Pouncing. Pouncing. We could pounce all day. For sure. I guess we are over an hour now, but this is my really cool background. And, um, yeah, once it dries, I'm going to wait for that paint to dry, and then I'll see if I want to add any more. Mm -hmm. And then this probably is just going to go right into my art journal. Cool. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah, look at all these. Look at those. Really like this one. I did not get very far. I mean, I used both sides in some of these, but um, these are really fun to play with. I really like this orange building up to the blue. Yeah. That's fun. And I like um, like the pink, orange, and yellow kind of together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like it's that. like when you're using colors that are like next to each other mm -hmm. on the color wheel to make your blends. It's uh, yeah, it's usually nice. Yes. Um. Oh, something unrelated. Do you ever use a Gemini foil press? No, we use the oh, we um, the Spellbinders one. Yeah. The um. What do they call it? The Glimmer. The Glimmer. Yeah. So, so I yeah. have not personally used that one. But, mm. um, yeah, I'm sure ask around and you can find the answer to that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. This, yeah. this is really cute. I want to yeah. do this. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll have to turn some of these into some things. Yeah, I can use this as a background for something. And some of these I might, like, cut or tear mm -hmm. apart and do something. Or I might just leave them. I don't yeah. have to do anything. I yeah. don't want to. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for joining us today. Um, we hope this has inspired you to use your own stamps, stencils, inks, and whatever. Pouncers, pouncers blenders. Brushes, blenders, yeah. sponges, all the things. <laughs> Hopefully you have some time to... Test play. them all out and yeah. play them. Yeah. And we'll see you back next time. Next time. All right. Bye. Bye.